Scenes from this week's 2021 Women's Equality Day observance. Hello and welcome to Mead Week. I'm Brian Spann. More from the observance in a moment. Also this week, the Air Force Gaming League is back for season two. Help illuminate the night for Suicide Awareness Month and youth sports registration is underway. These stories and more, but first at this week's town hall, much of the discussion centered on the recent requirement for service members to get a COVID-19 vaccination. The SecDef has now required COVID-19 vaccinations for all active duty service members, reserve and National Guard members. Um, each service have their own deadline for when we have to accomplish those, so that is coming um, soon. Again, I want to state the COVID-19 for the McGill Training Center is oper operating Wednesday and Friday from 8 to 3.30. Uh, we are closed Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. We will ramp back up to Monday through Friday as soon as we get our shipment of vaccines in for the additional shots we have to do for the mandated purposes from SecDef. You can watch the town hall in its entirety. Just go to our Facebook page and click on videos. In other news, the first in-person equal opportunity observance in more than a year took place this week at Club Mead. Women's Equality Day commemorates the 1920 adoption of the 19th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution, extending voting rights to women. At this year's observance, a Q&A session featured the Defense Information Systems Agency Chief of Staff, the 741st Military Intelligence Battalion Commander, the Army Cyber Command Sergeant Major, and the Kimbrough Ambulatory Carry Center First Sergeant. In their opening remarks, two of the panelists stressed the importance and value of diversity in the force. When I sit down at a group, and it's often at a table with a group of men, and many times I will be that woman sitting at the table, I can't change the way that I think. Um, but I do bring some diversity to the table in that I have a different way of thinking about things. That's important for any organization. But I think there's another reason why equality matters, and I think it has to do with diversity of thought and maintaining a competitive advantage in a rapidly changing, interconnected world. Um, as a strategist, I, I realize that um, we need to harness all of the brain power that we have to remain competitive. Command Sergeant Major Cheryl Lyon from Army Cyber Command talked about new opportunities for women, particularly in combat arms. Uh, and so as I watch uh, the, the women who were able now to go through Ranger School and to be adopted into the com combat arms, that's one of the most significant changes that I've seen that's had a significant impact on me because for me it was personal. Uh, you know, I wasn't afforded that opportunity, um, but I'm so very proud of the fact that women now have that opportunity afforded to them. In her opening remarks, Kimbrough First Sergeant Joanna McCullough talked about the importance of mentoring. It kind of has driven me a little bit in my career to kind of keep mentoring. And when those doors opened and the opportunities came, I definitely pushed um, juniors to go and to understand what is being offered to them. Um, understanding that uh, the balance of being a female in the Army. The next EEO observance commemorates Hispanic Heritage Month. That's coming up September 23rd, also at Club Mead. Meanwhile, also coming up in September is the 6th annual Illuminating the Darkness Walk on the 24th. The walk is meant to raise awareness during Suicide Awareness and Prevention Month. This year's event is being organized by Cryptologic Warfare Group 6. Illuminate the Night starts at 6 p.m. with teams of volunteers walking through the night until 6.30 the next morning. It takes place on Mullins Field across from Gaffney Gym. If you're interested, contact Ms. Laura Hanley at laurie.hanley at navy.mil. In sporting news, if you're interested in playing Call of Duty Warzone, Super Smash Ultimate, or Apex Legends in a highly competitive environment, the Air Force Gaming League may be for you. The league is starting its second season with more than 3,000 players from across the globe competing in three divisions. Gaming has been what's allowed us to stay connected. It's what's allowed us to get out of dark times. Uh, talking, communicating, networking, all that can, be, can, can cross over through gaming. You can uh, hang out with people that are deployed. You can hang out with uh, friends that PCS across the country or across the world. Any active duty member can join the Air Force Gaming Program. This is an a awesome connected community where time, space, location doesn't matter. You can register by going to airforcegaming.com. Don't worry if you miss the deadline. Established teams are always looking for reserve players. And a final sporting note from MWR. Youth sports registration for the fall season is underway. CYS is offering cheerleading, flag football, and soccer for kids 5 to 14. Additionally, there are clinics during the season for kids three to four years old. Go to me.armymwr.com for all the information. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.